Thursday the welcome program and our open and fair heart to what the screeners we brought up today. So this is the welcome program. So they have been free. They have come home. Away from home, they have come home. Thank you very much and welcome.
uh, to do this aspect of the introduction from the heart to Aman! Aman! Thank you very much. I want to recognize our platform guests, people who have come far and near. So when I, from across the sea, from America, they are here supporting what we're doing. Uh, Mrs. Malo and her husband, please stand up for the United States. They are here to raise this occasion. I, Dr. Simple is on the hard table, he was recognized. We also want to recognize him. Uh, as well as you know, Dr. Silver is also running for the district as well. Um, we want to recognize uh, Dr. Dolly. Yes, please, please. Uh, he is the one that advised the government how to do things by the local government law and the rest of it. With the governor's commission. But what I think I listen to him. He's a professor, so that when you speak to him, he'll tell us what I'm listening or not listening. But at least he's a person, right? Yes. And uh, the rest of uh, the youth president is here, of course, uh, he's also on the table. Uh, Kutel, please stand up. Uh, of course, you know that uh, my Obe is here, uh, former district commissioner. You can see him. Thank you. Please stand up, you are on the hard table. Uh, Mr. Copley also, uh, you introduced yourself, but you want a hard table. Uh, instead of that, recognize you. All other platform guests, please stand up uh, so that we can clap for you. The chair, oh, okay. Oh, he's, yeah, he's at my back. Uh, Mr. Mokba is our all, all boss in the country, right? The traditional people, you know your leader, right? Thank you, baby. You are welcome. Before I introduce the rest of the two people, all on the platform guests, please stand up so that we can recognize you. Everybody else, you are highly welcome. Please have your seat. I, I want to recognize now the biggest of all the strangers in our midst. I, somebody who followed me to come and speak to you. When he speaks to you, he will tell you the reason why he's here. But his wife is by his side. Mrs. Gordon, please stand up so that we can recognize him. great by the money you get, right? Some people say you get money, you get houses. Greatness from God himself is defined in character. God say, he who cares for the least among us will be the greatest in heaven, right? Yes. This is the man that has guided our democracy. When the young people are criticizing the government, the government tried to get at them. They grabbed them. He's a senior lawyer. He goes there and uses the law to bring him. This man has freed Aaron Costa, Vendela Patrick. Many other people. In fact, I will get back for my answer if you tell me so. The current administration, Yaka Fopa used to be publisher for the news newspaper. Many times, till they arrested him. The castle went and freed him from jail, using our law. He himself had been in jail so many times. Somebody who had led his life for this country. Somebody who is deep, who deeply care about you. He does not have money, but he has value. He has wealth. He cares for the country. Ladies and gentlemen, let us recognize the counselor who is our nephew, 
Because your mother is from both countries. And he from Mima. The Honorable Counselor Chamon C. Congo, the Secretary of the Catholic People Party, is here to present the purpose. He will tell us the purpose of this visit. Thank you very much. So we have come today 
to hear from somebody who has what the three men call integrity. That means who people believe in. Councillor Kewan S. or say Kongo. The man who have come today, he, 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 you may see him as a stranger. But that man is a nephew of Bunker and the better people. That man is a nephew of the better people. Hey, Mark. He said, okay, but let me tell you that one. From behind, so that our nephew, right? So our nephew has come today to tell us something and ask us for something. Because if we don't do it with respect, there will be no blessing. He has come to ask for blessing from his uncle. So I want to say, at this time, I want to welcome Chancellor Beyonce Gungo.
is my better half, my wife, Mrs. Sunny Kulako Bongo. You see, I'm a nephew of the Bongo and the people there are married from Nova County. Next door, she's Loma and Mandy. I was saying, Nova County, all they are paying. Diary in Zina Lomai, and then I went to Yenna Mona who won a mother camera and paid another diary there. So I got a guy who could pay. So you see, in Lofa, the money people will vote for me, the Loma people will vote for me. One old man said in Zina Loma, we have to vote for this man because, like great men, they can do for the white people more than their own people. <laughs> so because of that, we better vote for him so you can look our way in Lufa. I'm here. Hey, I hope I could speak from all kind of my I'm going to put that one many. So I can't speak it. I hope I could speak it. But I know that you will understand me. One of the things that the American people can say when they, they say like grandpa, you can go in a village, you go into book and understand English and speak it. So he said the two research. So I know you will understand me. I'm here because you have a black diamond here that I found and that I want. A black diamond. In the <laughs> Ordinarily, as a nephew, I should not ask for anything in both countries. I should just take it. <laughs> but only when it is good or cheap. But in a human being that you have to do. I want to first tell you what this is for. That you are good parents, you raise your children well, you take you took care of them well. And when they go out there, they shine. The most important thing in life is not how much money you have, how much book you know. It is how you conduct yourself, your character, for other people to respect you. That one, you got it here. And the Bible confirms it. The Bible never talks about money. Didn't the Bible say, for a rich man to enter heaven it would be like a, taking a whole cow to pass through the eye of a needle? Then the Bible said, good need is better than silver and gold. The people of the Shufur understand that. So you raise your children, you put them up to have only good need. And I identify one. There are others I know, but I want to talk about one. In, I met one in California called Q. This one. I'm here so that you people can permit me to take it from you. Because I know he was going to win the legendary seat here from what I know. So, two years ago, so young folk got together and they said, the way the government is going down in Liberia, we need someone that will change the direction of this country. And they said they went in the room, they put names on the board, and they started putting them. Then my name came number one. Then they came to me and said, 
we want you to run for the presidency. I said, that has not been my plan. They said, no, but everything you've been doing in your life make you that you want to be a president of Liberia. You are the one who won. That time, our president of the bar, so I said, oh, wait, let me finish the lawyer and I'm going to president the president before we talk that way. So when I put out the king that down, then I said, where you see? I came here, I consulted elders of District 1. I said, suppose say, I'm going to be president. You're my mom, people, where you see? They say we agree. Then I went to Nima and consulted the elders there. My people in Bunga, they agree with what? Plenty by like Grant Cole from uh, Marinette, from Grand Gina, from Lofa, from Cape Town, all over the country. Young people are saying, what you say? My people, the elders of Nima, can you say, we agree to. Then the elders of District 1 came to Nima will call us. Say, see, you are agree. You call us and you call everything in front of our nephew. So one of the elders said, oh, that means the way we feel agreed to cancel Bongo to run. Anybody come here and say, the, any of our sons come here and say, the one be president, we are telling the way for next time. Because we feel promising our in laws. So my son now I started looking. Because you are looking to him. The job of presidency is just like how one man can roll up that the head of the house, you know, the man who want to run out. So the law said the president was having a system called vice president. I started praying. Every day my wife now president, you go, you yourself show me. Bring that president, make it easier for me. So to choose. People started when well, the elected the Bokan is where we had LPP convention last year. Everything coming to book. That Bokan there where our convention last year in Bada and I was elected as standard bearer to run. <laughs> so you see, my man from Bokan, you know my auntie and uncles, then he lecture me in Bokan to be standard bearer. Then I am Bokan and I'm fine, like Diamond. I started asking people when they elected me now. They were calling Bibi me. If I spoke about Bibi me, I said, I tell the people that I really want to work with, but you need party people suggesting me that go talk to the press. They are just going and talk because I want to listen to people and take advice. But I'm not all in my mind. I was praying to God still. I said, make it easy for that person who assists me. For us to change the direction of Liberia, God, we want to make a great <laughs> So, I will resign from government job, our minister, money came from my eye. I want the country to be good like any, like any country, like the America we can run to. But I want the leadership to bring that home. I want somebody who is humble, somebody who now. They, they, they can't tell themselves big. People call it arrogant. Whether they know books are they done to them, they can talk to anybody. They go, they mean that person. So that person will say, I can be able to talk to all the great people. The people will be hard working. There will be people, somebody who can think straight. And they're fair, they're honest. When they tell you something, like it. I ain't even want to talk to them, but as soon as they say I'm going to talk to them, I'll talk to them. Then they go. I go there. I go there with the local community. Oh, you hear from me. Somebody will like me and say, the next time I hear, you do something else. God say, you know, God is wonderful. When you want to give me something good, you can put it through a hard time. You got to go through some of that hardship. So you can appreciate what you do to me. I was talking to different, different people. When I go so, somebody I went to the hall the whole day, I go the way, I go see the people. Some of them, my wife will say, I, 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 okay, let me go lie down on another person so they can oh, all kind of thing. I said, why are you going to lie down on somebody? You know, I don't want this here for you. 
Jim and Pony. I let go my job. So finally, when I almost gave me up to somebody, the jacket, I said, Oh, uh, I think we should talk to that uh, the man right here. That was, I, I said, yeah. To, to, to make everybody to know how to read 
and ride in two years. That one impossible. We want pregnant women, children under the age of five, all old people in the country to go to Ghana hospital and give them free of charge. We want to make sure that all the roads, while government is paving road, all the roads in the country are, are well maintained. Because of that, we want to put Caterpillar in all the countries to be maintaining the road. For put the world market in free. We want to make sure that rice does not finish in this country. So we want to bring machine to be present right in the country. We'll bring machine in the 15 counties to be planting rice. Rice will never finish here. My people, one, 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 one machine planting rice and having BB fire fires too. Right, you feel it like you The price of rice will go up. And then, in two, three years, I like brought my start exporting rice to other countries because our soil is so fertile. You can use fertilizer when you're playing right here. No. And God gave us great soil. The only thing government does not care about is so you, you, you eat it open and rice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, want to. Anything I'm talking about, food thing, I'm positive. Yes. Health, education, grow, food business. And the important thing. Yes. Now, your son, the boy, you don't play, they know about environment, they know about the health, you know, public health, and all those different, different things. God has given me somebody to help me. But I can't just say, well, the two people, they were looking for representative men, I won't make him vice president, I don't need to talk to them. No. I was right here in Bokande too, I know the culture, I had to come talk to you people. Even though I see energy here today, I will catch it. Without my nephew, I will get past. Yeah. <laughs> so, but why is it important? Because everywhere you are working, you are not taking somebody one step. You know that? And I say I work in government with human soil, any journey study, I will in charge of all the candidates to me. I don't want to sound Serena Galaho here, I was Solicitor General. Our minister, until what then? Yes. Our people in Boca they did not teach us to steal. So I don't steal. He doesn't steal. That means like no more money will be there to support health, education, food production, road building, everything. Will not be very big houses. That is why. I had this broom. The meaning of the broom is to save corruption from the government like this. <laughs> because government is not a place to steal. Government is a place to serve the people, not to steal. That the stealing that was good behind the peace. And why? How will I save corruption from I will sweep it and burn it. When you steal my government, I send you to. I will not even wait for you to find out what it is true. By the time you minister, every three months, the president, the vice president, the auditor will check on how, how we spend our money. They will spend the money on income. When that will come, you will have to answer. And here, my second step. So, anybody who will appoint you, will you minister, you will talk on. You are making one dollar when you pay you pay. Five and ten dollar house, amen. We'll find you. We send you to a library anti corruption commission. They investigate you. They, when they, when they finish, they have got you to get you to go. When you are found guilty, you go to jail for five to ten years. Then the money you stole will take the balance for you. The house you build will take them for you. The, the cars, everything. <laughs> Jail, and the family was suffering because they stole money. 
Any minister who wants to see again? No. Amen. And then we'll finish right. You should be here. Their corruption will not be in government again. The person who will be planning to be minister to steal all his life, he will want minister job again? No. Amen. Once you do that, then like, bro, you a better country. And the only partner I found to do it is no, no. You know, the big campaign ever says, your life is a campaign for you. Yes. Your character is one campaign for you. Yes. Ever says, I just call a name because we. We have to come with both kind of political official. They whisper. All the political parties in the country shaking. They say, hey, that one no? No, 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 no. No, 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 Everybody know how when they shake it. All the parties will go shake it. Which part of the country, whether it's Babu, whether it's Monserrado, whether it's Bokande, whether it's Nipa, Lofa, all the country. Which country will doubt Jack Pablo will be a better man. Everybody, Everybody knows Jack Pablo will be a better man, right? Yes. Hey, hey. It is time for Jack Pablo to sing in the question. Is there anybody here who is opposed to Jack Pablo sitting in the question?
I'm just the one to take care of you. But I think of it. 
说你没睡着，说你他现在是跟我说的。
and you in a desert where you cry and run here and run you here when you say I will do something, he has men of integrity. He has men that is committed and he has men and that some of us are young people in a desert who want to live and follow the path. We let us say on you the behavior that he has every here has a very good behavior. I will not go and be uh, to begin stand up forever. We will appreciate and we expect that those things that you are doing in our district, we expect that it's so that this will stay within your town. It's not, it's not easy. It's not easy thing to take a native man of their country to become president. It's not an easy thing. Especially a man from Zoda District, always had a Guinea Bolo Gumu. Who went and learned and came back and served the people. That is, the way he lived, the struggle that he passed through, he, 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 he know that struggle, and he want that all those people that are living in that struggle do not live in that struggle forever. That's how he decided to help young people. He wanted those that even through our inaugurations, uh, our inauguration, he supported. He said, I will do this. What he said he's going to do and he did it. He said, you have a generation training. I will go there, I will be in, uh, in a country. I will be living, but I promise to do this and he did it. So, we want to say to our people, like our uh, council, that this is the very first time in, uh, in the history of Zota, where in my, in my eye, where I'm seeing it with my own eye, that we will see somebody living from that level. Coming down to Zoda during the time for uh, 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 yeah yeah during the time for consultation, having the time for consultation with our other council, the women leader, the young people of Zoda district. So I want to say thank you so much. We are young people of this district. We are committed. We are standing back to see how best our our our, our father from this district can be praised and also we are leading on to that level that you will not forget about Zoda district. So last day we have our uh, nomination program that is pending. We want to have it today, we have the 10th of this month. But due to poor fundraising and also the death of one of our leaders of a letter, Sassi, by the way, also uh, uh, make up, we didn't have the program, we will put in a national air. We will also be looking at the four, so that at least we can also be able to get our support for our nomination. We will be said that that will be on the 27th of July. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The representative there of the young people, the women representative. Neblai, the Lord don't know him. The senior area, Mr. Yaba, quickly for remark. Okay, thank you very much and congratulations to the integrity ticket. And let me tell the people of Sota that whenever the enemy wants to look or want to defeat you, we will make you look like a small. Sota is not small to make history tomorrow. Comes on to what Every great people that live in this world come from a small town. There is a decision. There is an opportunity for you. If both countries is to be represented on the executive mansion, it is about your involvement with this thing. Thank you. you have to work tirelessly. We are all a district of a party who recognize with our mandate of our Dorua, our money We are a district of a party who sit here to the defend. And we are only waiting for the of our phone to take the decision so that we can use this tool to defend our people against our government. This is a better decision made for Paul County. So it's up to you, the young people, I expect us to be nervous. We don't need too much of money. At least they've got the money people life changing. But our lives will come on us are not changing. Right? So it's about time we put integrity people that will touch our task to change many lives. So thank you very much. 
I want to say thank you to Councillor you are very proud to take one of us. We never knew that you were telling us and when you are going to go to the national. And I'm quite convinced that this ticket, they say in Yabaro, going to be in the national for the first time in the year after the year. Are we saying to you? Yes. So I want to urge all the citizens of District of Mafu, don't count it by extension, that we should take the project to be our project. So that we can be spectators in our own economy. We can be the need beyond all the good, the sound budget, the sound for it, and they take it, they bring it down, run it behind, and they give up peanut. Let trust the interpreted people. Let's talk to our police across Liberia so that this can be a true for all of us to benefit. Thank you. And the team Bongo coordinator here, J. Elizana, Cisco, read the law. So the team you. That the man will be working with here. One time we we'll stop on the road, the council like that, with him. We want you to also work along with him at the district level here while we're trying to budget the effort. Thank you. Like council said, we got a program training in Banga on the 8th. So we'll be working with a different team here to get people to go to the program. This is the pro movement. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Uh, our time is fast spent, but we've got to do this on and some prominent, uh, prominent people are here among us will have to pay. So, uh, this thing is a kind of national call. I've always said to most of my friends in the district, the ideology of a particular leader. Uh, having said so, the coordinator or chairperson of Pintoba is that David Johnson is here quickly, we recognize you, Mr. Johnson, for a brief remark. Thank you so much for the recognition. Let me appreciate our Bungalow for looking into our county, into our district, and selecting our our brother to be his running mate. The decision you made on the one is a mistake. And I believe the people of district number four, the people of one county, Hi, will follow your step and I think they will see in that direction. The name Yapa Ulo, I think is a name from one county. There are all names that have been playing one county, but I think the one that Yapa Ulo is from one county. I think the people of district four can look in that direction. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. David. So, um, again, we will call the uncle of our president, and I don't want to say the incoming president even. Uh, that is our uncle from Kuiper. That's right behind Zoe Tak. Those of us who don't know Kuiper. We quickly call you for a remark in this gathering. Well, uh, those of you who don't know me, I'm Jackson Boer from Kweba Radio Zoita. You know, for me, I'm overwhelmed. But I'm not expecting this program today because the program should have been tomorrow. But I just received a call this morning that the program is today. But Tuesday, I was in Banga to arrange about the eighth program. And we went there. Very fine. Because when we got there to go the stadium, we engaged the administrative building. They said no, it's too small. So we went to the Guyon Stadium, we bought that, we paid for it. Then we got the information that the United Party will be there tomorrow. But yesterday I received a call when I called this guy that made the payment to. I said, my man, they said United Party have canceled that date. He said, my man, you better come for your receipt. You don't want to have your program in the air. I said, okay, my, my man is there. He went and collected the receipt and he brought it. What I want to say to the people of Bon County and Nimba is this. This is our time to be an executive marshal. This is our time to be 
are the exact mansion. The exact mansion is good for those that are prepared. But most of the time we make mistakes. Right after making that mistake, we started to regret. There's no regret about these people that are not sitting in the world here. And I'm very much happy for the decision council made. Because a lot of names came in a way. But some of those names that came, they have problems. And he's a man that do not have problem. So if you take somebody that has problem, he's going to ask a lot of questions. A lot of questions that he said will be confused. He don't know what to say. But I want to say thank you to the people of Zoja for allowing your son to be the vice general general for counselor. For Banda program, it will be a very big program. All the other council from the Tahiti Administrative District, uh, the Tahiti Administrative District, and the 42 clans in Bong County, along with the seven political districts, they are all invited. I want all the youth from the various districts town to be represented there, more especially the elders of council for Bong County. The children are just got a name yesterday so that I can come to you with him. That program is a program that all of us will be there to make it through. I want to say thank you ever so much for these days that you are giving us. We should have been here, but I will left Pepper this morning somewhere around 11 o'clock because the coordinator for Team Congo, he was somewhere around St. John this morning holding meeting with a lot of people at our Banga program. So I want to say thank you ever so much for this program. If we don't make this history, we'll be playing tomorrow. So I want Liberia to be a change in a way that everybody will be satisfied. It's not change for hope, but a change for success, a change for benefit, so that we all will be a beneficiary for our resources. I want to say thank you very much for today's program. Councilor, I wish you good luck. Mr. Yapango, this is a POD. That knee is not in the computer, but the computer will carry this now. That this is the best of the for one country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, how about? We are back with you. We are back with you. We will go quickly. Mr. Jarvis, you will come here. Quickly. Praise the Lord. I am, as I stand here, I feel very fulfilled because I have looked for what Liberia needs, and I am finding that in the two persons sitting here. I, the very day I heard he was selected, I have decided to join a party in my life. I never did it. Because I've heard of the counselor, I've not seen him in person except today. I look to see him in Monrovia or planning to see him this week because I'm going there. God has blessed me to see him. Yeah. And I know uh, Dr. Yafaro even when he was in school in America. Since then I have followed him until we have met and talked. I'm quite sure that this thing is going to win. Yeah. I'm not saying one country in Liberia will be in the match, and I'm saying Liberia, Bonkanya Nima, you see, I'm saying Liberia are taking the rightful place among community of nations by these people being there. You know why I feel, now when they feel, I am sure this thing can win. You know why? Look here. You here do not have money to support. 
You do not have material things like me. But you have character that you want and you know that only that thing in this nation can Liberia stand. Interpreted. You have it everywhere in the bush, in everywhere in the corner all over Liberia, anyone here has capital. And so you can go to that day and let your character be represented on the ballot box by selecting these people that will stand to represent you. They will be your voices, they will be your power, they will be standing for you. So, if you want to be in the marshal, if you want to be in the nation, Liberia to be among other nations and say we are now standing, taking our place, then that character you have that is represented by these people, you can walk on that day and say, these are the people I want. Not the people who get money. Don't say this man has money. Not the people who has international contact. Don't say this man has international contact, so I'm going to vote for him. Say, I have character, and these people have character. I will vote, and they can have, they can lead up to good governance. And so we will vote for them, and international people will look for them. They will come and say, who are these people? We want to be part of what you're doing. And they will tell them, this is how we want it done here. Is that correct? Yes. So, this team can win because you can vote right. Because you can vote your own self by knowing that these people represent you well. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, so the other thing I know, I want to do it quickly. Pero no 
that will bring Monrovia to you instead of you going to Monrovia. I'm not saying it for the fun of it. Because a lot of people are going to come here and tell you, oh, we're going to offer you this, we're going to offer you that. They're going to give you rent, they're going to give you money. But after taking that money, <laughs> after taking that money, what happened to you for the next six years? So, I'm going to re echo something she said. Which is, come October 10th. You are not voting for okay. president and vice president alone. You are also voting for your future and the future of your children. All your elders here. Most of them, if you ask them, they have worked somewhere for 20 years, 25 years, and they retire, they will let up. Not a penny. So, if you want a future that will keep your errors in shape until God call them home, and you are on children to see their grandchildren, then vote for these people. <laughs> because what we are faced with today is the future of ourselves. So I, want, I don't want to take all your time. But you young folks, all the young people are sitting back there. We want all of you to graduate from Keke and Motorbike to a private car. Okay. The government is not going to supply you cars. But government will give you a job that you'll be able to work and buy your own car. People, it is hard to understand because some people or our people like the crowd. People are going to come here, all they come with take cars. All those cars, then it is your tax dollar, your mineral that pay for those cars. The gas inside will pay for my own car. The money they are going to offer you, it is your money. <laughs> Don't refuse it, take it. But come October 10th. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh one of you uh so uh okay I put an uh put so uh at this point in time we will quickly take uh a representative for from the Liberian People Party to remark.
tell me this. He said, but do you know him? I said, what is his name? He said, Emmanuel Yure Yapaolo. If he stopped at Emmanuel Yure, I would have said, I don't know him. But when, when he called the name Yapaolo, I said, well, I don't know. comes from Bon County, but the meaning of the Paolo is unique. It means you are being brought forth for a purpose for it. So I say yes. I think our purpose is going to be fulfilled. <laughs> then I told, I said, okay. The counselor told me, said, but he is the president for the Salvation Army Polytechnic University in Morocco. I said, okay, I know him even more than you. Because I have worked with Salvation Army. I taught in poor area of Banga. And one thing I saw there is principle. They believe in principle. When I went for interview, the first thing they told me is that, well, your name is Mohammed Fofana, etc., etc. But be relaxed. We don't believe in that. What we believe in is principle and what you can do for the country. So when he said that, I said, well, it matches you, Councilman. Because you becoming the president for people with that kind of policy and principle, it tells us that yes, our ticket is complete. So, we say welcome from the leadership of Bone County and BB. We are proud of you. And then I will end up with the story from the religious scriptures. There was a time the children of Israel, they were suppressed, they were disturbed by Goliath and his soldiers. Then, the scribes of other people, they began to ask the prophet, Simeon, ask God to help us. We actually want to fight Goliath and his people to defeat them so that we can be free. Then, the prophet told them, and this prophet is the very first person who told the counselor that what if he go to uh, Dr. Yapaolo? So he said, there is a person that God has selected. He said, who is this person? He said, so. He said, well, how can Saul be the head for us to lead this war when he is not strong in the body. He doesn't have money. Then God said, okay. The remnants of Moses, that means all of the things, weapons of Moses and his staff, he said, angels will bring it from up, walking between the sky and the earth. They will bring this remnant to a person's place. Anywhere they land, that person is the one that is going to be your command, that is going to be you. So they brought the remnant from up the sky here to the place of Saul. And this is our soul. That's your baby. So, we have the weapon in his hand. They, they went for war. Then he also gave power to another person. He said, I also gave him power, I will give you some of the weapon. That person killed Goliath, which is David. This is our David. <laughs> so our, our, our ticket is complete, but it depends on you, the people of uh, Zudat district. Without your support, we cannot go anywhere. 
you have the people that can represent you. You have the people that can feel your being and your suffering. You have the people that are good, that are honest, that will be clear with you, that will inform you of whatever you need to be informed. You have people that have a remarkable and hallmark of leadership. So it is left with us, the people of Bon County, and specifically the people of this district, to take these people up. Because what, taking them up, it is not for them, it is for ourselves. And we hope we will do that. So everybody is welcome to Liberian People's Party. We have our headquarters in Banga, County Fee, and we also have our coordinators here in Panta and in Belafine. So members is available. We need your support. Thank you and thank you. Thank you. Amanda. Away. Amanda. Away. So at this time, we we turn over to the most powerful thing. And of course, I say the most powerful team because it is the team that killed this elephant that we all are taking peace today. Amanda! Away! We'll put the call John Wampong to come and get space to be able to the pin you a yamba room. Are you one of the Thank you very much. Thank you, Tasha. Thank you. Uh, Tasha, thank you very much. The selection of a quarter of the year. Not the mistake. This day, you are selected to be one of the The character you have for that day, I don't even know how to classify it. Thank you very much. The name is Tia Paro, who is a representative for now. For me, I'm not even talking with all the inside. But there are some issues really uh, uh, I will share with you. I want you to please take us as key powers, please. You will, uh, we call our son for us, who is that the Emmanuel Yamaro, he has gone to be a running mate. What's it take you? Please, the team still be here. I will share this for you in a meeting. Please tell my next team. We are here to cooperate the effort of that are doing. Everyone is doing. We stand by the way. So, we want to stand by the power of the team. We are going to work more than before. And we stand by the way. And two to end, I keep from the usual background. As I'm a, a former district youth for the district, I still want to be in with the young people of the district. Please stand by me to work in line with my youth of the district. Uh, please, I will just appeal to you just for five minutes. You go to the youth center to see. My administration was trying to youth center to that place. But those are both. And our new relationship has come to power. Please stand by me. Because the pressure goes to majority of the population for the young people. That the young you keep for the usual my God. As a government, please stand by me to work with our young people so that we can win their mind to form part of the process. Please. And I want to also return to the Council of Solar and five minutes to stop and you put a hand on the table. And what is the most important thing? Council of Solar will go to the roof of law and come to the coffin. One of our brothers, Paul Viago. There's a lot of problems that have transpired between me and somebody. We have been placed to jail for a year, just a very long time. And the person that came into that level, he had agreed for the power of the settle, but the court now really want to practice the old man. So one year that you please stand by us 
Sila awak jumpa dulu Aku nak ada kiji nak pergi kiji Then that four points that we have By the time I wrote this out You are now supporting me I look up proud of you Please Take this our prayer from out Party that currently I agree And especially there The family are already paid For the program that we need is your man Please Why do you make that? So also thank you for where I want to also tell my team members <laughs> that I will that I will if I want to go now when you're out. They are here to go and support that I will. Then let's get up here in this show of my phone. Then please stand up. All it is is a reality. And that's what I mean that you said all day. I'm just going to see you here because I want to jump. We are supporting you. That gave our whole life. That was our intention, our way, way that rather. That's something that that a man of way so that he can go to that level. When you go to that level, they will feel only this level of people. Please, so as I'm now, I want to just thank you, thank you all. My elder council, thank you very much. Our leaders, which is our brother, chief from the club, thank you very much. For the time being with we'll us, thank you. Amanda! Hey. So, uh, get the wrong with that. I'm sure we'll take it with me. So, we will ask the DJ to drop our music. That music that says, Who passed or not? For those of our brothers and sisters who can all send the banana, the music says we are one. We are one. Okay. So, so, DJ, 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 drop it. DJ, drop it. Uh, we'll catch up the music. Can we have a little bit of a problem? I want to go to. Okay. Kule ya wapa hivu ngeko hivu mwala Nale ya kwa kibwe Mama kwa
welcome our Vice President, Dr. Emmanuel King Yure Yakawu. Please have your seat. Our whole village, we have several of those. One is the first one is woman. James, are you here? Please stand up. Please clap for James. It's a Yuri. My sister who gets sang, no mama. Please stand up. Johnson, please stand up. Anybody from Gomu, please stand up. Let everybody recognize you. Gomu, please. That's wonderful. Thank you. Please have your seat. Malana. You will finish. Meju. Irina. Stand up. That was you too. The father of him, Shambhala. Stand up, Shambhala. People here from Shambhala, stand up too. I recognize you. We are going on and on. Please have your seat. But our partner, who my trouble, please stand up. Shall we recognize you too? And everybody, our elders, our traditional people, the one that gave me the blessing to grow up. Please stand up, let recognize you. Thank you. Just number four, I three major political divisions. Banta, Zota, and Mankwala. That's just number four. If you are here from Panta, please stand up. Let's recognize you. Panta, people, our Panta people. Our people from Panta. Please have your seat. From Mankwala as well. Mankwala, please stand up as well. Let's recognize you. Part of us. And Zota, please stand up as well. Let's see the power Zota. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Have a seat. We are honored. We are grateful. There's no way you can describe this except you say it has been designed by God. You know what I mean? How can you say this? When one of your kind can be picked up among famous people, some of them have money, they are popular, everybody knows they are Liberian, but somebody who is considered the best person Liberia has in terms of leadership can come down among you and pick it up. Yeah. We are grateful. We are honored. Tim Yure, stand up there for recognize you too. Tim Yure, you are honored. It is because of your work. Because even though we may exhibit the counter, but you can't get to somebody who nobody knows to get the politics. But the work you have done in district number four has gone far and wide in Monrovia across the world. You are a part of this success we began to see. Thank you very much. Have your seat. There's many things we can talk about. Let me show you this piece, piece of cola. What I studied in school, it has to do with what can make people poor. That's what I studied in school, in America. What can make people poor? What can make people is this? Look at this piece of color. This is a 
resources we have on the continent. Call this diamond, call this gold, call this money, call this land, call this tree. This color, right? It's not plenty. Right? It's not plenty. The gold is not plenty. The money is not plenty. So, it's for everybody. A government, I instituted government, I appointed or selected in every country for the government to say the resources are not plenty. How can we use it so everybody benefit, right? That's what government is for. Because if we leave it, there's no government there to guide it. Those who are powerful, they will take all and eat it, right? Yeah. And people will not get some. That will make people poor. Because when one person takes more, the other people do not have some. This is what happened to our government. They're supposed to ensure all of us get it. But, President, what do you do? What do you do? Can you imagine? What is there now for you? What is there now for you? Why are you not working? Why you can't find a job? Why your children not get school? Why our mother when they say to go to the hospital? No medicine there. Why? Why? Right? You're my rice. You're my bag of rice. I've been giving you. 
You have my day, you have my shoes, you have my day. Go in now and call me and say, who are you going to take? After all, we're not running the same district. That story, this is the story of Liberia. I told you, I was telling what made people go, right? This is our problem. This is our problem, my people. How are you going to be called the building going? Okay. If you are getting a senator, you are too late. You get a big car that you live with Kinder. Just a few cars. Go from Buense. Oh, the man poor man. Oh, you ain't got nothing. Oh, my people. You want the man to steal everything and eat it and can't get you the small one? Or oh, you want to follow this counselor? Who has worked through all his life in Liberia? He had not stolen money. When you were in government, stealing was too much. He said, I don't want to be part of your government. I'm here for this country. I want to develop the country. I want to be an example for how a president should be to develop this country. Are you going to follow this little thing that in my hand now? After they eat you all, they are joining in America, they say in a different country, when they say they go to Ghana, they go to America. Are you going to follow them, my people? It's up to you now. It's six years. Six years is too long. Every six years, we go and pull food. We say we want you to pay. Six years we pass again before we do it again. God, well, thank you for accepting that I go ahead and help our counselor. But I'm in your hand now. This is no vote particularly. If they think cannot carry the vote in this room of food, you have a mission. I will not have face. If election day, different person is carrying vote for this room of food, from Bank County, you have a mission. If we all be shit. Yeah, it's the matter of You have the power, yeah? President of Liberia. Uh, okay. Sit there. Sit there. Sit The power that made all the decisions in this country. When the poor who did that, that, that. Hey, my power. Hey, here. Me and my friend here. That, that decision that was put upon Ghana. That fellow people that the door for the mouth. Hey, here now. You wanted to transform and grab it. But some people are coming from the south. They're fighting for it. They're coming. You gonna say, I lazy? Did I get for you? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, that's your decision now. Huh? The thing is so close to you. Why are you gonna give it? I don't want to take all your time. Because of a problem, I'm happy. I'm honored. Are you wearing it? Anything I'm wearing, I'm going to wear you. How can one describe love for somebody? Can you imagine that? He don't want to give me the hat. He don't want to give me this. This morning he said, I'm going. Where are you going? Thank you. Yeah. 